Also new at 6, CBS 46 has just obtained a new video of the moments before a high school football player is crushed by an elevator. And a warning, this video is hard to watch. Surveillance footage shows the elevator door opening at the complex. And this is the student complex on Highland Avenue. Several people trying to get out, as you can see, as the elevator starts to fall. 18-year-old Jamarcus McFarlane was trapped and later died. We're told he was living in the building with his teammates from Champion Prep Academy. CBS 46's Ashley Thompson is live on Highland Avenue breaking down this very shocking and upsetting video, Ashley. Yeah, Rick, that video is indeed shocking and very hard to watch. Students scrambling to get off an elevator here at 444 Highland Avenue. The situation, a matter of life and death. This video sent to CBS 46 shows the unbelievable moments before Jamarcus McFarland's death. Students on an elevator at 444 Highland Avenue spilling out of it as the elevator continues to fall. 444 Highland Avenue. Atlanta police receiving several frantic calls for help. The top of the elevator collapsed on them. Can we please go okay. to An incident report states McFarland was lodged between the elevator and the floor with his upper body trapped. He's being crushed by the elevator door. The 18-year-old would later die. He was hardworking, uh, a very loving, kind, uh, call him a gentle giant because, you know, he was so big, but yet, you know, he just had a softness in his heart. Dr. Xavier Tipler says his nephew was hesitant to use the building's elevators. He did share with my mother, his grandmother, that, you know, I think that Sunday that the elevator, they were having elevator prob uh, problems with the elevator in the building and he was afraid to get on it. Just two days after that call, this. A certificate inside of the elevator shows it was passed due for an inspection with the last one expiring in August 2020. When pressed about the issue, management told CBS 46, quote, it's actually the responsibility of the state to do inspections and it's our understanding that in 2020, many inspections were not done because of COVID. Insurance Commissioner John King pushing back. We're serious about this investigation. He says property management must first request an inspection from his office and tells me they were not halted because of the pandemic. The property owner ought to look at the code section, at the responsibilities. They have clear responsibilities to call our agency for the annual inspections and not only the five-year inspections. The investigation into McFarland's death only beginning as his family arranges to get him home to Missouri. It's just been hard for everyone. Now, several people who live at this building have told CBS 46 this week the elevators have long been an issue. The commissioner says his office is now speaking with students about the elevators here. And the McFarland family has set up a GoFundMe to help get uh, Jamarcus's body back to Missouri. We have a link to it on our website, CBS46.com. For now, I am live in Atlanta. Ashley Thompson, CBS 46 News. Ashley, thank you.